Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. I hope all is well. I'm gonna talk about two important vital skills that are vital to taking your game to the next level. What I mean by taking your game to the next level, get taking your UX design game to the next level, taking your product design game to the next level, taking your career to the next level and creating a lot of value. And when there's a lot of value, you get paid more. Uh, by putting these two skills to the forefront, of everything you do, prioritizing these skills, um, being conscious of these things, it's gonna allow you to solve problems to the best of your abilities, and at the same time, build strong relationships throughout your career. The two skills that are vital, one, critical thinking, and two, suppressing the ego. Now, these two skills are soft skills, they're not hard skills, you can't actually see them and touch them, but you can see them when they're put into action. Um, and in fact, these particular skills, these two skills, critical thinking and suppressing the ego, can be applied to anyone that's in a, in a position that where you're solving problems. And in the tech space, most of us are in a situation where we're solving problems, especially UX designers. Number one, critical thinking. Um, I talked about this in the past. I talked about this often. Um, but I think it's under it's understudied. No one's talking about it as much as I think they should be in the UX design space. And basically critical thinking is a major principle in allowing you to get to the root problem and producing the best solutions for proposed um, problems and putting out the best guess. And essentially what critical thinking is, is essentially playing devil's advocate throughout the entire uh, duration of the process, asking questions. If you just put that simple principle at the forefront, at every step of the way and play devil's advocate, you're going to ask questions, tens of questions, hundreds of questions, and eventually the more questions you ask, the more holes you see uh, that are in your designs and your products, and when you find those holes, you can fix those holes. And then when you get to the point to where all your questions are answered, and you and your team pretty much have asked all the questions and, and possibly came up with the best solutions, that's your best guess. And that's when you put that out there with an understanding that when you put these in front of customers, you're going to discover things that you guys didn't know and then you iterate on that. That's essentially UX design at its core. Um, so critical thinking is number one. Always critically think throughout every step of the process. Why did we put that button there? Uh, what are the user assumptions when they land on our page? What are we trying to solve? How do we measure success? Who are the, the customers? What are they here to do? What are we trying to solve in the marketplace? Where are we trying to go? What are we, is this the right approach? Is there anything better? Is there simpler? What are, what are our competitors doing? Do our do our competitors get it right? Are people loving what our competitors are doing? What do they dislike about what our competitors are doing? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions. You think throughout the process, you'll get to a best possible solution, which I consider to be your best guess. And then suppressing the ego, which goes hand in hand with critically thinking. Let me explain. Suppressing the ego, uh, this mentor I started to follow, he summarizes the the ego as the need to be right, the need to be offended. And I love how he summarized the ego because I think that's exactly it. <clears throat> the ego is there to help you succeed, but also gets a lot of people in trouble. It hurts relationships, it hurts, you know, you know, team building and things like that. And when you have an ego in play in the workplace, it you have biases in play. You're not in a state of willing to learn. You're not in a state of willing to sit back and listen and really find out uh, the truth. And so when ego's at play, your critical thinking cannot be as effective as it can. And so, <clears throat> and so suppressing the ego is something that if you understand this principle and you apply this throughout your day, you'll notice that in the workplace, everyone has egos. We call it 
there's too many chefs in the kitchen. And the more talented people you work with, the more egos you have to deal with. But when you suppress your ego, it puts you in a state of learning and a state of of a situation where everyone will love to work with you. And what happens is, even if you're right, if you allow someone else to to screw up your head and all that stuff, and I, I've been guilty of this, where uh, people, I know I'm right, and, and we're going against you know our opinions and things like that, and I need to sit back, suppress the ego, and kind of learn through the situation. Why is that person so convicted on putting out that solution where I think they're wrong and I need to learn from that and apply it to myself and get better at it, right? So maybe they they don't know something, right? And so I just have to think through that. But the more I suppress the ego, less stress I'm dealing with and the better relationships I build throughout the workplace or in, in, throughout the people that I work with. At the same time, there are, there are two sides of the coin you don't want to think too long about things. You don't want to overthink because that will put you in a state of paralysis where you're not actually shipping and getting things out. So you want to think critically to solve problems and put out your best guess, but you got to, you want to keep, continue to move and iterate. At the same time, the ego is also there to, to propel you, right? All the geniuses of the world has egos. I love sports. Kobe Bryant has the biggest ego of all call it the mamba mentality where we call him the black mamba and he feels that nobody can when he was playing he felt like he was better than the world right and so that propelled him steve jobs everybody that's a genius in this space or in the world has egos and so the egos are is there to also propel you but simply put thinking critically and suppressing the ego for the most part throughout the throughout your career will take your game to the next level allow you to get to strong possible solutions the best guess in my opinion and also allow you to build relationships throughout your journey thanks for watching guys